Particles are able to surpass the speed of light thanks to the utilization of quantum tunnels. Greetings, everyone. Today, we will be delving into a fascinating subject regarding the measurement of particle tunneling time, as proposed by physicists from TU Darmstadt. Their innovative experiment challenges conventional beliefs about superluminal speeds and aims to redefine the concept of time for tunneling particles. By utilizing atoms as clocks and comparing the time differences between tunneled and non-tunneled clocks, they hope to gain insights into the temporal aspects of quantum tunneling. This groundbreaking approach has the potential to significantly advance our understanding of quantum physics and the behavior of particles. Without any further delay, let us begin our captivating discussion. Quantum physics, a captivating field of study, presents particles that appear to defy the principles of classical mechanics, showcasing perplexing phenomena that push the boundaries of our comprehension of the cosmos. Among these mind-bending occurrences lies the concept of quantum tunneling. Particles within quantum tunnels exhibit a seemingly faster-than-light movement, challenging the established principles of Einstein's theory of relativity. Nevertheless, a team of physicists hailing from TU Darmstadt has put forth a fresh approach for gauging the duration of particle tunneling, thereby raising doubts about the accuracy of previous experimental findings. The physicists from TU Darmstadt, Patrick Schach and Enno Gieser, have recently unveiled their pioneering experiment design in the renowned scientific journal Science Advances. By considering the inherent quantum properties of the phenomenon, their methodology seeks to redefine the notion of time in relation to a tunneling particle. Quantum tunneling, a concept within the realm of quantum mechanics, refers to the ability of particles like electrons to traverse potential energy barriers that would traditionally be insurmountable in classical physics. Within the realm of classical physics, when a particle lacks sufficient energy to surmount an obstacle, its options are limited to either rebounding or coming to a halt. In the realm of quantum mechanics, particles possess wave-like characteristics, and there exists a likelihood that the particle can bypass the barrier through a process known as tunneling, even in cases where it lacks the conventional energy required for crossing. To gain a comprehensive understanding of quantum tunnels, it is essential to consider the following key points. In the realm of quantum mechanics, particles possess the unique quality of wave-particle duality, meaning they can exhibit characteristics of both waves and particles. This dual nature enables particles to display behaviours that defy the limitations of classical physics. The likelihood of a particle successfully tunnelling through a barrier is influenced by various factors, including the dimensions and energy levels of both the barrier and the particle. The principle of energy conservation remains intact when it comes to quantum tunnelling. During the process of tunnelling, the particle does not experience any gain or loss of energy. Instead, it emerges on the opposite side of the barrier with its original energy intact. The practical applications of quantum tunnelling are wide-ranging with notable examples including scanning tunnelling microscopy STM, for atomic level imaging of surfaces and the utilization of quantum tunneling in flash memory drives for data storage and retrieval. Radioactive decay involves the phenomenon of quantum tunneling, wherein particles are able to break free from an atom's nucleus, even if they lack sufficient energy to surpass the barrier imposed by nuclear potential. As per the principles of quantum physics, it is understood that particles of small size, such as atoms or light particles, exhibit a dual nature wherein their behaviour can be observed as both particles and waves, varying depending on the specific experiment being conducted. The wave-like behaviour of particles, known as quantum tunnelling, is exemplified when a wave packet approaches an energy barrier and a fraction of it successfully passes through, creating a probability for the particle to manifest on the opposite side, as previously discussed. Enogiza raises an objection stating that the particle does not adhere to a conventional path. Pinpointing the exact location of the particle at any given moment is impossible, which presents challenges in determining the time it takes to travel from point A to point B. Motivated by Albert Einstein's famous quote, time is what you read off a clock, Schach and Gieser suggest utilizing the tunneling particle as its own timekeeper, while employing a separate non-tunneling particle as a reference point. 
Their goal is to compare these two natural clocks in order to ascertain whether time passes at a different rate during quantum tunneling, either slower, faster, or at the same pace. By harnessing the innate oscillating energy levels found within atoms, researchers propose the utilization of atoms as timekeepers. Through the precise application of a laser pulse to an atom, its energy levels synchronize and initiate the functioning of the atomic clock. By slightly altering the rhythm during the process of tunneling, a second laser pulse is introduced to create interference between the two internal waves of the atom. This interference is then detected, enabling accurate measurement of the time that has passed. According to Patrick Schack, the clock that undergoes tunneling is marginally more aged than its counterpart, which contradicts previous experiments that ascribe superluminal velocity to tunneling. Although the suggested experiment can be conducted using current technology, it poses a considerable obstacle for researchers. The duration to be gauged is exceedingly brief, approximately 10, 26 seconds. In order to address this issue, the researchers propose utilizing clusters of atoms as timekeepers rather than individual atoms, and enhancing the impact by artificially augmenting the clock frequencies. Enogise emphasizes that they are actively engaged in conversations with their experimental colleagues and maintaining communication with their project partners. The potential for a team to undertake this captivating experiment in the near future is highly plausible. In essence, the experiment design crafted by Patrick Schack and Enno Gisa poses a significant challenge to our comprehension of time and the behaviour of particles within the quantum domain. Through their introduction of a novel approach in measuring particle tunnelling time, they are challenging existing assumptions regarding superluminal velocities and opening up fresh possibilities for delving into the enigmatic realm of quantum physics. By working alongside experimental colleagues and project partners, they are moving closer to the opportunity of conducting an exhilarating experiment that holds the potential to unveil the mysteries of the quantum universe and facilitate a more profound comprehension of the underlying essence of reality. To support our channel's growth and ensure broader awareness, kindly hit the like and subscribe buttons. This will help us reach more individuals and disseminate valuable information. Thank you in advance.